Hey, bitches. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why. Uh, welcome back to my own app. I'm very excited for this. I hope you talk to FYI, if you see me on my phone, I'm writing notes. Um, I just have to delete Riverdale's notes from yesterday. Because... I actually really enjoyed doing this, like, you guys, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome, I'm insane. Um, oh shit, I've got rid of all my notes now, mother. Anyway, um, but, welcome to the channel, if you're new, because I know a lot of new Wyoming Erpers are on here, or Erpers, as I should say. Um, I hope you, if you went to San Diego Comic Con, I hope you had a great time, I, I think you, like, you met Geek House, which is pretty darn cool. Um, I'll be streaming with them later to do Dungeons and Dragons, which was so much fun, because we're devil nerds, ah! Uh, but this is uh, Why I Went Up, and uh, I'm very excited for it. Last episode, we had some very awesome vampires and some very awesome characters, and just but we need we, you know, I didn't want to have to say this because I love him. I do. I love him very much, and he is um, what's the word? Uh. Different and a little crazy, um, but you can't you can't help but love him. Uh, and okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it because fuck it. Jeremy needs to shave his beard, okay? Because what the fuck is this? The mustache? I don't like it at all. Shave it off, please. Seriously, seriously. Oh yeah. Um, it did, it does sue him a little bit, but uh, I know he just shaved it off at some point, because Geek Cats told me last night. <laughs> but seriously, it needs to go now. Okay, this is why I went up, let's go. Oh yeah, and Waverly Tully got kidnapped. Tully forgot that bit, actually. <laughs> She's still getting dragged? Come on, Waverly, put up a fight. Oh my god. Jeez Louise, this is... Holy fuck, holy shit! <gasps> fuck off! God, I hate hangovers. <laughs> Just saw you, big walls, bars, nice red jumpsuit. Yuck, I mean shit, I just do not have the complexion for red. <laughs> and speaking of dressing for the occasion, might I just say that is a fine frock, it's very practical. <laughs> You sure didn't get your sass when Ward talked to the fist or rule number two. Assess the situation, Cop. This is sick as fuck. I love this already. The situation is a shit sandwich. I could totally claim it. Yeah, but you need to play it smart. Oh shit. Shit hurts worse than when I push the baby from my whole hole on top of the table. <gasps> so will Waverly being dead? Oh fuck. Stop it back into place. Yeah you go. Did he just steal her voice? Hi, Nicole. Oh, I can't really talk right now. No, everything's fine. Holy shit, time. so that's what he did last time as well, I wasn't sure. Okay, goodbye, Nicole. Ha <laughs> oh, you really are your father's daughter. Uh. Whiskey from dad, crazy from mom. Wine on herbs, sorry, on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I am a whiz with the tire. I know you're afraid to say it out loud, so I'm gonna say it for you. What if it's him? What if it's full shot? Damn. Yeah. Boss of the year. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Just worry about the demon and his boss. Okay? Okay. 
Jeremy, what you up to, kid? What you up to, bro? What's in the box? Oh. Oh, of course. Okay, yeah, no worries. More serum for keeping, you know, who under control. Shit. Why do you keep doing that? What's in hours? That's subconscious. It really has a lot to say, doesn't it? The moment that you rely on... This is all her. This is all her head. In her head. To protect you. It's all her doubt, all her... Everything. I think it's a very cool psychological... They know it's all on me. Mama. You remember how it was all on me when you had your episodes? Alice doesn't. We are the same, Winona. And that is what scares you. Fuck! That was seriously close. Jesus. This is beautiful. This really is beautiful. Like, that was an enemy. Oh. She's abandoned you again. To fight for the right side. Mm. You're right. He's scared. You're scared. And I can't blame you. Fear turns to anger, anger turns to hate. Hate turns to rage. Can you guide me? No, I don't know. Rescue ever, guys. The best rescue ever. Is that a bad trap? Tricks, they're not just for kids. Oh! Throwing your voice. Oh no, not throwing your voice. Oh, it's Bullshar, shit. Bullshar's watching. He's always... Always watching. You hear me, Krabowski? Always watching. She's alright. She's alright. Yeah, or me. Oh, did one of you guys have a harness in your car for impromptu weekend excursions? I've <laughs> <laughs> years of climbing experience. You are the heir, and you can't even look over the edge. Well, I'd say, uh, give me the wheezy song. <laughs> I will be down and back before you can say redheads do it better. What the fuck? Oh shit! Thank fuck for that. Go kick his ass.
What the fuck? Natalie in the car and I'll be here soon. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not leaving. What the flying fuck? I know, Nat. Stop. Maybe he'll wake up. Maybe. Maybe he's, he's, he's part dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. Man. Oh, sorry guys. I just composed myself. Okay. Well, I did not see that coming. At all, um, uh, wow, yeah, uh, that was, um, that was very different and very, uh, beautiful and very heartfelt, um, I just need a minute before I talk about the episode, because I need to compose myself. Okay, so we're going to talk about the death first, because that was hard. Not... The actual death itself wasn't the hardest part, which sounds ridiculous and stupid, but... Doll, when you think about the dolls and the Wyonona relationship throughout the whole series, it's such a beautiful one, but it's also such a tragic one, like... There is so much beauty there, you know? There is so much love and, and how... These battles have been hard fought and, and won and they've come such a long way from the domineering boss and the jackass girl to the the two friends and it was done in such a beautiful way that I feel like I feel like this show could the show could go anywhere now, you know, it's it's I just did not, I did not see it coming. I always thought, you know, it'd be Wyona and Dolls, Wyona and Dolls in the end, because I, that was my sort of OTP of, of the of the two, and I don't know. Um, now, this episode had a lot of good moments. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, guys, because I don't think I've got the energy to talk about it after that. That was, like, kind of, that was hard to watch, actually, at some parts. Um, it really was. Um, we had a cannibal, that was a different kind of demon, <laughs> but, well, it wasn't really, they were always eating people, it was kind of crazy. Um, I also love the bit where she was like, that was the original slogan for Stairmaster, <laughs> get the help or die here. <laughs> it was something like that was, uh, and flats are better than heels, yeah. Um, he stole her voice, that was kind of cool. Um, I liked how Jeremy was fighting for dolls, and then dolls went and talked to, um, he had a scene with, with each character, and I love that, you know, he had a scene with Wyona and Waverly. He had a scene with each of them, and I, and I liked that a lot, and I liked the, the scene with, probably with my least favourite character, which sounds strange, the holiday. Um, but it was like, he doesn't fear death, he didn't fear it, and I, and, I, and I loved it, I loved that moment. And the reason why Doc is my least favourite character is just because he is. It's not anything against the guy, or, or like the acting or anything, because I feel like... He's a brilliant actor, and you know, that character just rubs me up the wrong way sometimes. Um, however, I don't want to see anyone of them die. Um, that episode was called When You Call My Name. I'll come running. Oh my god. 
Um, yeah, we, we saw a lot of, also we saw a lot of, uh, oh yeah, that was the line. Um, I don't do what I do because I fear damnation. I do what I do because it's yeah, very doctorish. Nice. Um, then we had some very psychological issues with, with the mom. Um, as, as, as why on a subconscious. And I loved how that worked and everything. I, I actually thought that towards the end before the big death happened, I thought it was going to be revealed like she was in prison and she was actually communicating through some kind of mystic magic or something. I thought that would have been really cool. But they didn't go that route, so oh well. Um, the best rescue ever featured in this episode with Wyoming jumping across and doing all the slides. It was a lot of fun, that. Um, and yeah, then we felt, we thought Bullshar's second in command, by the looks of it, he got fucking fucked up by dolls, but Bullshar still stays alive for now. And Mum is usually, I've read Mum is usually, because uh, that was such a beautiful scene, it's like, you have to let him go. You know, it was so sweet and so pure, and I just, that's what mums are there for, you know, that's what parents are there for, to look after you when you lose people, and, and you lose losses, and you suffer losses, and yeah, it was gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all. I have been touched, but you've been awesome. To dolls.